Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays of Suikoden 5. Today we're going to Rafleet. Never mind, we're getting into a random encounter as soon as I press the, the, the directional button. Or the analog stick, I should say. Who uses directional pads these days? Well, to be fair, I actually mainly use the D-pad until I think midway through PlayStation 3. Like, I don't know. I didn't really like the analog sticks when they first got released. I like them a lot more now, unless I'm doing like a platforming game that's very sensitive, then I would rather have the like the directional pad. But even then, that's not always the case too. I believe that Raja is over there in the biggest ship. As we slowly zoom up. Almost there. Here we go. There it is. You can advance the text box now. Thank you. <laughs> Back to the slow zoom down. Like, Silies, why are you doing that? Don't worry about it. Oh, what are we gonna do? Your mother's gonna be hollering mad. Oh, hollering like mad. To turn into a sissy on me, Pops. Uh, you make me feel like crying here now, too. That's enough, you two. Let's go. Actually, you know what? Okay, I didn't think so. I don't know how to pronounce that. Nuo? Uh, hey, Maroon! Oh, Lun! Lun, let's play! Let's play! Oh, she's technically a child, huh? Okay, Maroon. And that's probably how you... It's like Mer, Mermaid, and Noon, Oon, mer, Maroon. Kinda busy. Since you are technically a child, right? Oh, that's too bad! No, Chrono. Oh, fine. Next time, all right? Okay. Uh, Nuo, Nuo, Nuo. It's weird to see a beaver out and about in these days. A beaver? The Queen's Knight had never heard of no beaver? Yeah. Who let you in in them rakes, anyways? Still rather new to Felina. Beavers live in the deep southern mountains. They're always uh, working on wood projects. They can be friendly and social, but lately, very few of them have been out. Maroon comes here all the time to play. She doesn't like to go to Lord Lake, though. Yeah, there's no water. Dots. Let's get going. So, you can tell beavers are the furry race for the game. You idiot. This is not the, this is not the time to give up pups. Yeah, so... Then we had the squirrels in uh, Suikoden 2. We had the kobold. Well, yeah, we had the kobolds in Suikoden 1 and 2, actually. Uh, we also had uh, the the ducks in uh, Suikoden 3. Then we had the cat dudes, kobolds, nay kobolds, in uh, Suikoden 4. Should I buy another one just to be safe? Yeah. <laughs> just, just to be safe. Um, and now we have uh, the, the beavers. We also have dwarves too, actually, as we saw earlier. Which, yeah, I think that we technically recruited one dwarf in Suikoden 1. Oh no, yeah. Uh, was that a dwarf? That was a dwarf. Sweeping through the digger dude. The guy that was digging at the bottom of uh, the, the lizard clan place. That was a dwarf, right? I was going to say, I think it's the first time we had a dwarf, uh, like party member, party members, that we could recruit fully. But no. So just double checking what the treasure is, because I can never fucking tell. Um. There are people around here that if you talk to them, they kind of like the juice dude will give you some stuff. 
Uh, there's one treasure up there. Uh, I should probably save because I haven't saved in a little while. Well, I mean last episode, but I didn't save in between episodes. No, okay, wait. It sh there should be... Oh, it's right there. God damn it. I was like, there should be one over here. No more room. Uh-oh. Uh, well, let's see what we can do then. Uh, yeah. Go back here and use... Just fully heal everyone. And then discard. Then discard. You're not gonna get rid of some of the other ones, Kronos? We have a ton of medicine. Okay, we don't have as much medicine as we thought we did. Get rid of some citrus, because I think we have like five of those. Never mind. <laughs> we had five of these. Alright, we didn't need the citrus anyway, that's fine. Alright, that should be enough. Thunder rune piece. Though, so, you get four, five, four of them, you get a, a thunder rune, right? Pretty great if we get three now. That'd be totally cool. Hello. You look kind of unique. Kind of complicated. Yeah, she was breaking the law. And in here, except this fire ceiling piece. As you kind of guess, they give us a lot of pieces to make orbs eventually, or make runes eventually. Um, I guess that's just kind of a way to increase the amount of treasure you can give. I guess? I don't really know, to be quite honest. Like, I mean, it's fine. But, I don't know, I kind of would rather just have the rune. No, nothing there. Well, there was someone back there. Going here. You kind of see some of the layouts of these places can be a bit much. <laughs> so hey, we actually have to go through the appraiser shop. Do we? We don't have anything to appraise, right? No. See you, dog. Normally you can just run around places, but apparently not. Hello, child. Uh, so big ship that way. This is for something we can't use yet. Yeah, so it looked like it had like a another ship this way, but yeah, we can't really do anything with it just yet. There's two more treasures, sacrificial jizzo, and mega medicine. When was the last Mega Man game? Was it 11? I, I didn't play 11. Play 10. Did they make it Mega Man 12? I think I would know if they did. Blacksmith. I don't think there's anything we can do with the blacksmith just yet. Uh, so there's treasure over here, right? Yeah, okay. Grab that. Silver robe. Silver robe probably goes on no one because it's weak. Hello. Wait a minute. Hey, ain't we met before? Goddamn recollection of you I have. Hello, child. Why don't you do that? Should be the last area down here. But nothing's here. Alright, so, yeah, there was a blacksmith up here, and I believe there should be an armor smith. Not armor smith, like an armor shop, though. That might be near the big ship as well, but it could be over there. Hello, uh, I guess technically we could get... Yeah, you up to that? It's a lot of money. So hopefully there, there's nothing, like, I want to buy. Hey, here's the armor shop. And the item shop. Refines. Leather capes. That's a lot of money for a leather cape. 
Uh, and we got a raft turban, guard coat. Nothing really worth buying. Sorry, Leon, I didn't mean to speak to you. I mean, the leather capes aren't that bad. There we go. Fish badge. Ooh, delicious. A badge made out of fish. Oh, you sell them? That's a little... You, Jesus Christ, lady. Can I sell that? Oh, no. Well, close, actually. This is a half price, but yeah. Pretty good. Uh, fish badge. Magic defense plus five. You know, I probably should give that to George. <laughs> Given the fact that his magic fence is utter trash. All right, now we can finish up. We got all, I thought there was one more person that gave you mega medicine and someone else. That might be on the big ship though. Or I could have just missed them. Yeah, you could have just missed them. Uh, there are more treasures here, though. Uh, up here. No, not there. I thought there was one over here. Oh, you know what? Never mind. I'm thinking of something else. But yeah, there's a, just so many people here. And this place is gigantic, actually. It does kind of make me want to fast forward a little bit, but that would definitely screw up the audio. Like a lot. There are treasures on the upper deck, but for some reason I always gotta check these corners because I can't stop myself for whatever reason. All right, let's head on up. And uh, yeah, all the way down here. Yeah, I've always had that problem where, like, where I can't stop myself from looking at places I know that doesn't have it, right? Let's save here. All right, sorry about that. Uh, to the, well, the upper path over here, there's really nothing there. There's a couple of NPCs you can talk to, but they don't really do anything. Um, oh, trainers. Uh, I guess we can train, huh? Sollies. Start working on your incantation. Yeah, we could probably get, yeah, I guess we could get C for incantation as well. That would help in terms of like your shredding ability. Mm, may as well get it. We did use, oh, we just used a lot of our party SP. Yeah, that's a shame, but that's fine. Leon, you, I think are fine to stay where you are, right? We can do attack, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I did I did just use a ton of the party SP there, didn't I? Uh that was not worth it, to say the least. But it is what it is. Oh, it's the bath. We taking a bath. That's a nice bath. Leon, you have anything to say about this? No. I wish I had a bath like that. I'd probably never leave the bath. Oh, you know what? That's fine, actually. I wanted to check up that other path. Admiral, you here? No need to yell. I'm not that old. Yes, you are. Royal family tomboy, is it? Tomboy? Raja, is that how you greet your old friends? That was a compliment. And who's the handsome young lad you've got with you? Ah, uh, His Royal Highness the Prince. I am pretty handsome, you're right. I knew is this big already. That means this young lady must be Leon, the Queen's Knight's apprentice. And you must be the famous George Prime, the one His Majesty Farad brought back with him. Uh... <laughs> you know so much about us? You, yeah, you know so much about us. It's hard to tell now, but this old woman was once the commander of the Royal Navy. She helped fight off the Arms Army when they invaded eight years ago. She's a national hero. 
What? You mean you're the famous Admiral Raja? Well, that was a long time ago. These days, I'm just old lady trying to live a quiet life on the river. Oh yeah, let me introduce you. This lady is my second in command. How do you do? My name is Kassara. It's very nice to meet you. And for reasons that escape me, she's also the wife of that idiot hiding over there. Ugh. Yikes! Looks like these two caused some more trouble, huh? Tell me what they did this time. I see, that is quite a serious offense, no question about it. Log? Uh, yes, dear, you see, uh... Why can't you th just think once? Your haphazard seems to get us all into trouble. You gotta forgive me. Lunas is all holy and stuff, so I figured we'd have the loot all to ourselves. So you gotta admit, no one else thought of a plan like that. Nobody else would have thought of it because it's such a terrible idea. I I'm sorry, Mom. I tried to stop him, but then he explained it, and I kind of got excited too. Well, that's too bad. You're old enough now to know better. Yes, Mom. Sorry, you're dis you can dis uh, discipline them as much as you like in the back. You have my permission. Thank you, Admiral. Come with me. <laughs> you too, Lun. Oh, di dis discipline? Oh, no. Suck it up, pups. We brought this upon ourselves. I mean, you're not wrong. It's, I guess it's better than being in jail, right? <sighs> I'm sorry about all this. I'm sorry you went through all this trouble just to keep the matter between us. It's not the fault of those two lunkheads. You don't have anything to be sorry about. That's not exactly true. I'm the one who gave the order to gather gold. Of course, I didn't say that they could take gold dust from the Holy Land. How come you need all uh, need gold all of a sudden? Now, we've had a lot of demand from the nobles for raw gold. It sent the market price through the roof. The nobles want gold? I uh, must be trying to hire mercenaries. Seems likely. Mercenaries prefer raw gold to gold coins. I'm assuming it's just easier to trade in foreign places with raw gold as opposed to coins, right? The Baros faction seem especially desperate. They've been trying to scrape up mercenaries ever since the Sacred Games by fair means or foul. Don't know what they have in mind, but you don't gather mercenaries for a nice civil chat. I'm sure Her Majesty the Queen and His Majesty uh, Farad have been aware of this for quite some time. It's not something you guys have to worry about, so chin up! As you came all this way, you should take a look around, Rafleet, if, uh, if you're not in a hurry. It's not the most sophisticated place in the world, I can speak, but people here are so alive and vibrant, I doubt you'll be aboard. I wouldn't find a look. I think we'll do just that. Log has left the party. Lon has left the party. Hello. Hello. Sorry that I started laying down the law on those two. You should start crying any second now. Really? Come on, enough already! I know I'm no good at this kind of work. Yuck, the guts smell like puke! I'm gonna reek for days! Stop your complaining and get back to work. You should be grateful you got off of this easily. You're not leaving here until you clean a thousand barfish. Ugh. Ah. So yeah, it's just pretty much having them gut fish. Alright, not here. Um, yeah, the treasures must be up north on this path that I bypassed earlier. Uh, we could buy some stuff before we head back to Solfalena. Yeah, there we go. We want these. Old Book 1 and Flowing Rune Piece. Definitely want to collect those as soon as possible, right? Uh, eventually makes a flowing rune one of the best runes in every game. Like, I don't think that's an exaggeration. It, yeah, no. Especially when it comes to, like, Suikoden 3 and above, where you get Breath of Ice. It's just the, a level 1 Breath of Ice spell that hits everyone. Really great. A level 2 heal spell that hits everyone. Ooh, ooh, so good. <laughs> ooh, so good. 
Uh, you know what? Instead of discarding some of this medicine, I could also sell it. Yeah. Well, now that we have all the stuff as well, let's go ahead and save. Again, you can go talk to the NPCs on that other path. They're, they actually have nothing. Uh, I thought one of them might have had that Mega Medicine, but I think I might have been confusing it for the Mega Medicine we got out of a chest with something an NPC gave you. But hey, you know, a fish bat ain't, no, ain't bad, right? Kind of? A little bit? Uh, all right, you know what? I'm actually going to go to... Yeah, I'm gonna come up here and go to the item shop to sell a bunch of medicines that I don't need. All right, I went ahead and sold a bunch of the single uh, uh, medicines we had, the normal medicines, not single medicines. I also sold uh, the Wind of Sleep scroll that we had, because I'm not ever gonna use that. Uh, you know what, let's go check out that trading shop, right? Because we can get some stuff here that can net us a pretty good profit in Soul Felina. I think I already just mentioned that. But, let's see. Hello. Bye. Do you have it? Hmm. That is a lot of money. Could we buy one of each? I could sell all that old equipment. Or like the sleep rune. You know what? Let's do this. There we go. That's probably gonna net us an all right profit. All right, so other than that, there's really nothing else for us to do in Raft Fleet. So we can head back to Sofalena now. Um, I might come back and buy more of the tea and rice they have here. Cause we actually have access to, actually, you know what? Yeah, let's do that now. I'm gonna see if there's anything else here. Unfortunately, we don't, we're probably not going to make too big of a profit when it comes to this stuff. So 600 soybean, 800 vegetables. Okay. Let's see. 55 sugar. Uh, yeah. Let's see if we can make some money. So yeah, let's go all the way back to the Sun Palace. Not so, do not go back to the Sun Palace, actually. If you go back to the Sun Palace, you will advance the story. Let's go back to Solfalena, and then to the trade shop. Um, I have... Sh Ooh, hello. Wizard Tree. Your Wizard Tree, Harry. You can apparently take a beating, Harry. Not much, though. Uh, yeah, that's fucking scary looking, to be quite honest, for something that's not a boss. <laughs> Alright, uh, I guess I could meet you guys back. You know, we'll walk back now, okay? And then I'll show off where the trade place is again. I know we've been there a few times, but just... Ooh, it's a gold bunny! Don't run. Fuck. Oh, no, you, that's good, that's fine. Wow, that's a, a golden bunny, huh? Doesn't doesn't do anything, but still, I feel like I've never seen that guy before. <laughs> I thought he was special. I, I, yeah, that's actually really weird, huh? But anyways, yeah, let's go to the trade shop. We should, if they're buying um, uh, rice and oh god damn it, what was the other one? Tea, there we go, yeah. Rice and tea. Uh, I should make some extra money. Um, and I'll probably go back. I might be able to buy soybeans cheaper here and then go back to uh, Raft Fleet. I will do that off screen though. Because I just came from there. Uh, if you go to the palace, the story will advance. So don't do that. I think there is an option to be like, oh, never mind. I don't want to be here right now. But I don't want to do that just yet. So. Yeah, we, we got some trading to do. Not much, but some. But yeah, over here, there's the blacksmith. Now, yeah, with the extra money, I guess I could check out the rear finds again. See if there's anything good. But they're really depending if we make extra money. So, okay, yeah, so we gain $200. That's not too bad. And $700. That's not great. 
Uh, okay, so we can make a profit with fruits and wheat. Right, all right, and soybean stuff. Okay, actually, I think we can make a profit on all of these. Except sugar. We can bring sugar back here. Uh, right, okay, cool. I'm gonna buy soybeans uh, and the fruits and stuff. I'm actually probably gonna go save first and do that, make sure I'm not wrong, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and buy all the soybeans, vegetables, and fruits, and then I'm gonna go back to Raft Fleet to sell them all. All right, soybean prices dropped on the way back to Felania, and now they're only 300 here. Reloading my save now. All right, we're back at Raft Fleet, and I should be able to make, yeah, profits on 280, that's not too bad. And then 400 on these two fruits. Uh, and then here, make... Okay, we can make uh, some profit on soybean we want to get uh, not spices we want to get rice tea and get one soybean and uh, I guess that's gonna be it for now yeah they don't refresh that often but anyways I'll meet you guys back at Solfalena uh, at the trade shop all right let's go ahead and sell Oh, the soybeans went down. Motherfucker, really? God <laughs> damn it! Alright, that's fine, I guess. Maybe I just... read it wrong. Sure, that's fine. Uh, we still, still still make the same profit as the... for the tea and the... other stuff. I could probably sell that for $20. Oh, that's pretty good, right? Not really, Kronos. Okay, you're not wrong. But anyways... All right, so now we need to go back to the Sun Palace. However, the next part is going to be uh, a little longer uh, than I probably want to do right now. I guess I can do Siley's stuff. Let me just make sure. Pretty sure we're going to get a full heal. Should I go heal just in case? They'll fully heal us. Yes, still fully heal us. Oh, you know actually what I want to do before we do anything else? So let's rearrange this to uh, have more defense. There you go. That way uh, we have more defense. But we'll worry about that next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all then. Bye.